Hello everyone on a Saturday afternoon. In reading the word for 51 years and attaining the age of 81. Now to some of my friends, I'm a youngster. But a lot of my friends, I'm a senior. I am also an elder called to the understanding of the life and the ministry of the Apostle Paul. The Lord made it clear to me that he's my salvation, the ransom payment for life living eternal. But he says, I want you to know, because I'm sending you to the Gentiles. I want you to know the life and ministry of the Apostle Saul Paul of Tarsus. So I have been studying that for a very long time. Now I'm going to read to you what Peter said about Paul. And Peter called Paul beloved, also gave the right hand of fellowship. But Peter made it clear that Peter's ministry was to Israelite Jews circumcised bring them to Messiah. And Paul made it clear that his ministry, number one priority of his ministry was to Gentiles, then kings and sons of Israel or Jews third or last part of his ministry. Now let me read to you. This is so very important. There are good study Bibles. I learned how to read in a King James Bible, 1611. Every Bible translation. I even own a Geneva Bible, 1560. 50 some years, 60 some years before King James Bible was written. Every, there is no perfect Bible translation. Every Bible has error in it. It has been rested, W-R-E-S-T, which in the Webster Dictionary means to twist or distort. I add flip or reverse, such as spiritual likeness before image. Let us make man in our spiritual likeness and give him a human image man, person that can be seen. So much for that one. I'm not teaching in that direction. I want to make clear to you Paul's life and ministry described by Peter. Did you get that one? I'm reading Second Peter, the third chapter, starting at the 15th verse. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Shua 5, that's another teaching. Even as our beloved brother Paul, beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. 316 of Second Peter. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. This is Peter saying, some of Paul's writings are hard to be understood. Did you get that one? Which they that are unlearned and unstable... Rest in King James 1611. W R E S T is to twist or distort unto error. May I repeat that? Rest, twist or distort unto error. I read on past the word rest in the 16th verse of the third chapter of 2 Peter. Rest as they do other scriptures, they twist other scriptures unto their destruction. Yea, therefore, beloved, see ye know these things before 
Beware, lest ye also, being led away with the air or their air of rusting, twisting, distorting, flipping, or reversing Scripture, and it's done in every Bible translation, from Aramaic to Hebrew to Egyptian to Greek to Latin to German to English, King James breaking away from the Catholic Church, he hired his own translators to translate the King James Bible 1611, and I don't think all of them were spirit-filled translators. That's important. Spirit-filled and hearing the still small voice of the Holy Spirit in their mind heart. Seven times to seven churches. Can you hear? Can you hear? Can you hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches or the assembly or the assembled ones in catacombs, in caves, in forests, in home living rooms? Uh, 17. 2 Peter 3.17 Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also, being led away with the air or their air or their twisting or resting of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness or stand with stand, stand, stand. Stand four times in the sixth chapter of Ephesians. But grow in grace, grace be, and in the spiritual knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Shuaphat, Jesus Christ, Lord Christ man, Lord man Christ, Lord human cup Christ anointing, to him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Sila, Shua, Alpha, Arrow, Infinity, forever and ever, life eternal, immortality dwelling in the light, unapproachable by human flesh and blood, cannot inherit the spiritual heavenly kingdom of God where there is eternal life. Love you. Amen. Seven minutes and 50 seconds.